How's it going everyone? I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. So in this one, I wanted to kind of show you how you can dynamically change the background color of your header as your user scrolls past a certain point in your page, right? So you've seen this in a, a couple of nicely designed sites. So like when it first loads, it looks pretty fresh, but when you scroll, you don't want the text kind of overlaying on top of everything. So you kind of want to add like a white background to your header. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. And I do have another video that is related to a scroll to the top button, which I'll link in a card. Be sure to check that one out as well if you're interested in learning more about scrolling behaviors with Vanilla.js. And then real quick, before we look at the code, be sure to like this video because it helps my channel grow. Be sure to comment below if you want to see other types of widgets or functionality in Vanilla.js. And then like always, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. All right, so this project is already kind of set up. Um, we have a bunch of HTML and CSS already written which is basically why we have this styling going right now. But so what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this header basically become a full background color of white. The moment the user scrolls down or maybe a little bit of offset, maybe like 50 pixels and then change it to white. So what we could do is use a little bit of JavaScript to basically check for when the user scrolls on the document. And then we could change or add a static class to this header. So you don't really need to know all this HTML to understand what we're gonna do. But basically keep in mind that this header component is the thing that we care about, right? This is what is showing up in the top uh, header where we have about projects and contact. And we have a style sheet here where I have a header defined here. And what we need to try to do is we basically need to define a new class to set that to white and maybe change the text color. So what I like to do first of all is let's make that style. So I'm gonna say header.static and I'm going to basically change the background color to white. And I'm going to verify that. So if I go back to my index file and just add static here, load up my dev tools. So you can see here we have a white background now. So that is kind of what we're shooting for. And then we could also add some styling to make it look nicer. So maybe some box shadow and stuff like that. So let's just go here and add like a box shadow. Uh, two pixels, two pixels, two pixels. I'll make it like three, three, three. Yeah, you know, that'd be perfect, but that looks good enough. But the idea again is how do we write some JavaScript to make this dynamically get added when the user scrolls? Um, if you haven't watched my previous video, I show you how to do event listeners on scrolling events. And I think this is another good tutorial about learning that. So let's move over to the index.js file. So this is a file that's included at the top of my page here. So I'm importing the script here. And we can write some JavaScript inside of here to kind of make that dynamically get added. So the first thing I would like to do is I want to grab that DOM element. So I could say const header is equal to document dot query selector. And I can grab the element that has a class of header. And then we only have one. So this should just return one DOM node. And then what we want to do is whenever a user scrolls, so I can say document dot add event listener. And whenever a user scrolls, so the scroll event will file, fire off. And basically what we want to do is we want to check if they've scrolled past a certain threshold, then we need to dynamically add that static class. Otherwise, we don't add it. So I kind of showed this in the other video, but to get the scroll top of the document, at least in Chrome, you could say const top is equal to document dot document element dot scroll top. And that's how you can get how far they've scrolled down. Zero meaning they haven't scrolled at all. And 10 meaning they scrolled down maybe like 10 pixels. So once we know what the amount that the user scrolled is, we could say if top is greater than zero, we could do something such as add the static class. And then otherwise we could remove the static class. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let's do number six, right? <clears throat> Let's take that DOM element, so header dot class list. This is a, a property that's on DOM elements that you can add or remove classes. And we can say add the class of static. All right, so just to verify this works, let me go back to our index.html. Let's remove that static class that I kind of hard coded to show you the styling. And let's save it and go back and go ahead and refresh the page. And now notice when I scroll, the header shows up. I also have a transition going like I added, I think in the header class, there's like a a transition all of half a second. So that's how you kind of make it fade from no background color to a nice white background color. But now the issue is if I scroll back up to the top of the page, the header's still there, right? So we want to also remove the white background, remove that static class once they hit the top of the page. So this should be pretty, um, I want to say it's easy, but if you think about it logically, if the top is equal to zero, 
that means we're at the top of the page and all we need to do is just remove that static class right let me save this and now notice when i scroll down it comes up scroll to the top goes away and you can kind of dynamically change what this threshold is so i could say like const scroll threshold is equal to we could say 30 so 30 pixels from the top and let's just use that here and what that allows us to do is the user can scroll down a little bit more let me refresh they can scroll down a little bit more right so it's not like maybe 30 was a bad amount let's do 50. no okay <laughs> let's do 100. let's do 200 how about that so we can actually demo what we're doing so notice you can scroll down quite a while before the white background gets added but really what we want is maybe 50 to 60 to 70 i think would be good because the moment that black text is covering that image it makes it really hard to, to see right so that is how you can basically dynamically add a class to your header to make it have a white background if the user has scrolled some amount so if you enjoyed watching this video be sure to give me a thumbs up also leave me a comment below if you want to see me build another widget or another form of functionality using vanilla js and then like always if you're new to this channel be sure to click that subscribe button if you would like to see videos like this where you just learn little bits and tidbits of things you can do with web development in html css and javascript all right thank you all so much for watching have a good day